You are most welcome to the Phoebe way. On this channel, we talk about life in Germany. We just try to educate each other on life in Germany, make life in Germany easier for us as expats, as foreigners living in Germany. And of course, my name is Phoebe. <laughs> Today's video is about taxes in Germany. I asked you in previous videos what you'd like me to talk about, what you'd like me to discuss. Some of these comments were about taxes in Germany. So today's video is about taxes in Germany. It's going to be two parts. So the, today's part is like general information on taxes in Germany and we're going to dwell more on the income tax. And then next Sunday we talk about whether you should file your tax and how you should go about um, filing your tax returns and all of that. So more with income tax. So. You ask yourself, what kind of taxes are in Germany? Am I paying everything? What do I have to know? There are numerous types of taxes in Germany, okay? From Grundsteuer, that is for those who have property. So if you have an estate, if you have a um, piece of land, if you have a building, if you have an apartment, Grundsteuer, that is for what is your property. So that is property tax. We have Mehrwertsteuer, that is VAT, value added tax. Or in Ghana, Ghana, we say VAT. I don't know what other countries actually say. They also say VAT, so uh, well, yeah that we have kf Steuer, that's the motor vehicles um taxes we have schenkung steuer abstract steuer so taxes on inheritance um properties that you inherit you have to pay taxes on those as well depends of course on your situation and the kind of the value of what you got and all of that and who gave it to you and all of that but if you want a video on that we can talk about that on in a different video but yeah, there are so many different types of taxes, but I just want to make it easier for us to come along. So I'm going to dwell on the income tax today because that is what affects us as people who are working in Germany, right? Right, so let's get into income taxes. We have income from agriculture and forestry, that is Einkommen aus Land und Forstwirtschaft or Landwirtschaft und Forstwirtschaft. And then we have income from, from commercial operations or trade, so Einkommen aus Gewerbebetrieb, there's income from self-employed work, so that's Einkommen aus selbstständiger Arbeit, so if you're a freelancer, for example. Einkommen aus nicht selbstständiger Arbeit, so meaning you are not self-employed, so you actually get an income from employed work. So most of us, that's what we do, yeah. And then the next one would be Einkommen aus Kapitalvermögen, aus Kapitalerträge, and that would be um, income from capital gain. And number six, I think number six now, yes, would be Einkommen aus Vermietung und Verpachtung, so you renting out your apartment or letting property that is Einkommen aus Vermietung und Verpachtung. Okay. Then we have miscellaneous income, sonstiges Einkommen, that is also like number seven. So in a video I did, or actually was a live with Waka Waka Doctor, a lot of somebody asked the question, what kind of tax rate do we have in Germany? I told the person that it depends, it really depends because you can start somewhere by the end of the year because of some contribution that you've made to your health insurance or to um, to your towards your pension and all of that, what would come out later at the end of the year will be way less than, could be less than what you're actually supposed to be paying. It depends on the amount of income you gain. The highest tax rate in Germany is 45%. And that is for people who are like the top earners, top, 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 top earners, okay? So that is the highest. But if you are earning anything less than, for the year 2020, if you earn less than 9,410, okay, up until 9,410 euros a year, the whole year, your income is 9,410, then, or less, then you would not have to pay tax. But once it's above that, up until 14,330, your, your, your tax will be deducted, right? And it's progressive as well. So the more you're earning, you are, you're basically in a bracket. So it's from 14% to 24%. But then 270,000, that's where you pay the 45%. Then another question that came up was how much is going to be deducted from my wages and it depends also on the um, class that you have that's the share class or the tax category or the tax class that you are in and that's what's going to be used in determining the wage tax and it's not only the wage tax that is um deducted they also deduct um solidarität so that is like the solidarity surcharge it has a long history if you want to know more about it i'll leave a link down below but it's basically has to do about the reunion of the west and of west and um, east germany and how to, to help in financing that and to strengthen um, the other side as well. So the deputate to Schlag, that's solely, and then also they deduct the church tax. So the church tax is eight to nine percent of your wage tax, okay? It's not directly your taxable income that is um, taxed, but it's your wage tax that they deduct eight point eight to nine percent of. So if you declare that you're evangelical or you're Catholic or 
and they are going to be deducting eight to nine percent of your wage tax on top from your salary okay and then Zoli is about 5.5 um, percent as well now let's talk about the tax classes now for class one it means you are unmarried either you're really single or you are living in a registered partnership you are widowed class two is for people who are actually single but can claim single parents um, benefit class three is for somebody who is married and whose um, partner or spouse does not earn any wages at all or has wages according to class five. We'll get to class five in a bit, but this is class three. Class four is for people who are both married. So it's for both um, partners in the marriage who are both married and both earning and both are residing in Germany, okay? That is class four. Now class five, as already mentioned, is for somebody who has actually applied for uh, to be in class five because their partner is in class three and then class six is for those who have more than one sources of wage income so class six for you who has more than one employer class six is going to enable is going to make it possible for your wage tax from the second employer for that further employers to be withheld so guys i hope i have brought i've given you a little bit of an overview of how the taxes work especially your income tax and what tax class you could be in and what tax category like tax rate category you could be in as well that is for you to find out so as you've seen i've given you the tables i've given you the information next week you're going to talk about filing your income tax returns what documents you need how you should go about it and all of that so guys take good care of yourselves and see you same time next sunday cheers